Hi, my name is Željko Kovačević and today I'm going to talk about pretty complex uh, issue and that is how to create a, a FTP client application in C++ Builder using Indie components. Uh, like I said, it is a pretty complex uh, stuff and therefore I have prepared an example that actually works and I will use it to show how it's done. Uh, first, we are going to use this FTP client component, that is the ID FTP component located in, in the clients and we will use it to, lock, uh, to connect to FTP server. So, we need to specify the host, actually in the FTP server, username and password information. We can also specify this additional uh, information and that is actually uh, do we want to connect actively or passively. Uh, this is pretty uh, complex issue about choosing uh, ports to connect and stuff. Uh, I would recommend that you actually Google it and uh, see the whole story for yourself. Uh, we are going to show how to connect to FTP server, how to uh, see uh, the content of the FTP server, how to browse the content and how to download and upload files. So let's begin. How to connect. When connecting to FTP server uh, I have first checked if I'm already connected and if I am, I simply return. If I'm not connected, uh, you need to actually specify host, username and password information and like I said, this passive or active information do we want to connect actively or passively. And now we try to connect and if it fails, you'll get this error message. And it, if everything works uh, okay, then this method show content will execute. What it does, it actually uh, stores all uh, items on your FTP server in a string list. Okay, so I use uh, I used here a string list and all items from uh, the FTP server I actually stored in this list uh, string list. So what I did, I used all of those items and uh, checked if the current item is actually a directory then uh, put it here or if the current item is actually a file then put it here okay so that way I filtered uh, directories and files let's uh, see connect and as you can see these are all directories and these are all files okay the second thing is actually when I have these uh, directories, I want, I want to simply to go in one directory or another one and actually go up and down and see uh, what is uh, contained in those directories. So I use this on double click event, meaning when double clicking a, a directory, then I will try to uh, go into that directory using this change uh, dir uh, method that is uh, when going into directory, when I uh, try to go up I use this also change their uh, method but I use these two dots like you use command prompt so let's actually see connect okay so I go here here and up up as you can see it all works just uh, by using this change their uh, method. Okay? And uh, the most important stuff is actually how to uh, download and upload files. So, uh, when downloading a file, uh, we need to first uh, choose a transfer type. It can be binary or it can be ASCII. ASCII actually means just text but I prefer using binary it actually because it actually works on everything so uh, to start downloading you use this method get like in using HTTP protocol so the first thing that you need to specify is uh, a source file actually this is going to be a selected file from a list box and here we are going to specify where we want to save it and how so we are going to save it using the same name but in my C root folder. Okay, do I want to overwrite it? 
this is uh, that is the next uh, parameter and I can use additional parameter actually to resume uh, disconnected if uh, download was disconnected I actually can use uh, resume to resume uh, that download okay so let's actually try that connect I will like I said try to download it here download done and as you can see it showed up here so as you can see download works how to upload files it is pretty much the same thing you uh, choose the transfer type and instead of using this method get that will actually download file you use this method put uh, first you input this uh, location of the file that you want to upload and the name of the, of the file uh, on the server actually this file here will be saved as this on the, FDF, uh, on the FTP server okay I don't need to test it because as you can see it all works just fine uh, another thing that I want to actually tell you is uh, that you can also use the progress bar in here also so you can use it actually to show uh, the progress of the download and upload of the files how uh, I also made a video about that and that is when using HTTP protocol you can actually uh, see it in a list of my videos and uh, it is shown how to actually to use this on work on work begin on work end events and you can use it actually to uh, see the progress uh, of the download and of the upload so like I said uh, it is a pretty complex issue I hope that you actually understood the main idea and that is how to connect how to show content and the most important perhaps is how to upload something using get and how to download using put if you have any questions uh, please be free to ask and uh, thank you for watching see you next time